Hey, I'm Steve from Stephen Cates. We believe the world is a better place when kids use their imagination to challenge the status quo, which is why we've gone out and searched for kids who are creative, passionate change makers doing amazing things. These are their stories. Meet Nicholas, a young chef whose love for cooking has landed him on the Rachel Ray's Kids Cook-Off TV show, and even at the White House, where he got to present his dish to the Obamas. Here's his story. Hey, I'm Nicholas, I'm 10 years old, and I love cooking. I was born in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and I lived there for five years. Then we moved here to Edwards, Colorado. There's lots of fishing here, mushroom hunting, both skiing and snowboarding. It's a small town, so like when you go to the supermarket, like you'll see your friends there. So that's what I like about it. Um, my very first memory I had around cooking was when I used to bake with my mom and my sister. And also when I was little with my sister, I used to make like potions, rubber, like ground up crayons, cinnamon, soy sauce, sesame oil, anything that we could find. The potions you couldn't really eat, but I really like baking because to me it was like a science experiment. You mix everything up and then at the end you come out with something hopefully that's good. Now I like more cooking than baking. Because what I like about cooking is that you can just adjust anything to, te to change the texture or to change the no, sorry, the taste. I've made lots and lots of mistakes. One day I was just leafing through my cookbook. I got a recipe and I made it. And at the end, it was like basically water with seafood. It didn't turn out well. And that was like something that I remember. So it was an epic failure. I also really like using organic because organic hasn't like been sprayed with pesticides. And anything that you get fresh has like so much flavor and that's really good for a recipe. So I thought it would be a good idea to learn how to fish so I can catch my own tasty fish. Today we're here at Vill Valley Anglers and we're getting ready to go fly fishing. Good morning there, Chris. Hey Brett, how you doing? Ready to go fish? Yeah, definitely. Excellent. These look like fun to be in. You've been waiting to get into them, haven't you? Yeah. How's that feel? Perfect. You want a little bit loose, yeah. if anything, but not tight. No, uh, then these are perfect. Yeah. Good. Right. yeah. I've never been fly fishing before. You excited for that? Yeah, definitely. That's what we all do around here. I love looking at the flies. They're so cool. They're so beautiful. And, really cool. and there's so many different types. And I don't know which one we're going to fish with today, but they all look super cool. We're about to go fly fishing at the Eagle River. I don't really care if we catch a fish or not because it's just the experience is gonna be so much fun. I just love being out in the nature, in the water, and I am so excited. We're here at the river fishing and now we're just casting out trying to get a fish. And like whenever you cast out, you get lots of bites, but the problem is reeling it in. And I really hope we catch lots of fish. And I'm so psyched. Go ahead and start kicking those rocks. Yeah. That's good. We're lucky we might have gotten some samples of some stuff that's in the river. Let's see if you can find some insects in there. Nothing bites, so you can grab all of them. Yeah, lots of things moving around. See lots of things moving around? Tons. And why don't yeah. we just start with those two and let's rig them. Got it. I think it's important for kids to learn something all by themselves and choose what they learn. Because then they're really interested in it and they put more work into it. And I think it's really good. Great cast. Now hook it back on your right fingers. That's your ready position. Okay, and then when I hit it, I just tug it? Yep. Fish on! Oh, look at that, man. It's a big one. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Oh, you got it. You got it. Look at it. It's huge! Let me get the net. Got him, 
make the show out of the deep end. What? It's a chicken? No fish for chicken. I've never seen a chicken in this river before. It's crazy. Dang, man. Wow. Yeah. Wait, no. Again, Dang. pull some more line in. You have a little too much slack there. Focus on the ball. Right over my head and keep reeling the whole line in. Let's put him in the basket. Got him. Awesome. Hold him in the water for a moment. So, what are we doing out here? We're trying to catch uh -huh. fish so that we can learn how to fish. But the reason we're doing that is because you love cooking fish, right? Yes, I do, of course. Fish. So congratulations. Yeah, we thanks. got our first fish of the day together. Uh, and this is my first brown trout that I've ever caught, trout. yeah. It was such a fun experience going fly fishing for the very first time. Always good to try new things. Nicholas, congratulations on your first trout. Should we let this one go and grow? And yeah, definitely. It's a nice thing to do. Okay. So now I know how to fly fish, how to cast it, how to shoot out line, and catch fish and use them to cook because it's always good to cook with the freshest ingredients you can find. And even though we had to release them, that was a nice thing to do. That's totally fine. We can get some trout at the store. We're here at Cut, and I'm just picking up some trout for my dish. I read lots of food magazines, and so I get lots of ideas from there. Maybe change the recipe a little bit, and then cook. Nicholas is one of our uh, up-and-coming cooks. He works down at Taco. He's a really great kid. One thing I love to do is try new food to get ideas for different ingredients in my recipes. And I love to do that at a cafe in my town called Eat Drink. And there's some cured meats over here, like salami. Do you see some chips? And right here you see all these oils, olive oil, truffle oil, all of these different types of pasta. They have lots of cheese here. So that'd be perfect to put on a cracker. Nicholas and I met whenever he was prepping food up and getting trained up for his show with our chef here. And he would always come, come down here and try all of our cheeses to make sure that he picked out ones that, that are some of his favorites. Eating. I love, that's part of the reason that I cook, just to eat what's at the end. Mmm, it's good, yeah. So we're here at Village Market. And we're just gonna be doing some chop, some shopping for my trout almond meat. Okay. When I'm picking my onions, I try to avoid softer because when it's soft, it means that it's older and you wanna get the fresher ones. Oh, darn, put too much. Panko. Okay, we got the panko. We've got all of our ingredients for our trout almondine. So now let's go cook. Hey guys, we're here in my kitchen and here's my sous chef, Chef Ryan from Stephen Gates Camp. A sous chef's just like an assistant, like an assistant to the chef. Whatever you need in the kitchen, I am okay. your assistant. So, yeah. uh, talk about what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make our trout almondine from the trout that we got from the market. And also I'm gonna be making a farofa, which is something that they have in Brazil. And I'm also gonna be adding bacon into that and lentils with just a butter Dijon lemon sauce. And as a garnish, I'm just gonna have a tarragon parsley salad. So let's get started. Tell me what you okay. want to do. Let's get our hands dirty. So first we're going to start on the lentils. Okay. Ryan, could you please go fill it up with water? Yes, yes that is good. And this is going to be for our garnish salad. It's green and it's really fresh. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to toss it with my hands. When you're cooking, don't be afraid to use your hands. It's totally fine. Here, let's try out the lentils. Oh yeah, lentils look good. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. What do you think? No, they're no. still 
hard, but they're starting to cook. This is the beautiful fish that we got at the market. So we're cutting the fin off. Seems like you're pretty confident with this knife here. Ever since I started cooking, my mom taught me knife skills and the safety of using a knife. I tell you what, that looks fantastic. Wow, yeah. You, uh, you dared me earlier to eat a fish eyeball and I'm a little nervous, but I'm uh -huh. excited to eat a fish eyeball oh, yeah. with you. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna do it. Give it a kiss. You gotta give it a kiss. There we go. Anything that I come across that's exotic, I will beg my mom or I will just like eat it. Sea urchin, I've had brains. I've had cuttlefish in Brazil. Kids eat chicken hearts like a ton. It's like French fries here. Pop the eyeballs out. Just, just squeeze them right out. And don't put your thumb right into the. Yeah. Side. I think I might have popped the eyeball. Yep. So I popped the eyeball like I completely kind of exploded it. But fortunately, I have a spare. And Ryan? We're going to do this? Yeah, definitely. Oh man, I'm not as excited as you are. One last look at it before it goes in my stomach. Look, it's looking at you. Goes. Mm -hmm. Second time you eat fish hair. Mm. That is not very good at all. Really? No. I don't mind it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, how do you do that, Nicholas? This is, there's a, no, another one for you. Have another. Um. Yeah, there we go. Mine wasn't that fresh, and so kind of tasted a little weird. I really like doing things that involve creativity. You can really put what you're good at into something and not just follow the rules, like change it and make it your own. Thanks, yeah. With the sauce, it makes it taste really good, so. Save that one for later. First, oh. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna put some salt and I'm gonna keep tasting it and stirring it. See how it tastes. Mmm. Better now. So that's what I really like about cooking. You know, is improvise and modify the recipe. And you can keep adding stuff to change the taste or change it to the way you like. And let's say I could add like some crazy spice in there and maybe it will taste good. Uh-oh. Nicholas, can you come over here? I think we have a problem. So Chef Ryan burnt the bacon, but it's all right. We'll just cook some more. What can you do? We'll cook more. Sorry, Nicholas. Happens. Basically, that's what cooking is about. Like trial and error, you learn from your mistakes, you make something good out of them. Some of the most successful things are made out of mistakes. Like, maybe it'll be better, maybe it'll be different. We haven't tried it out yet. So, we're all done with the dish. Okay, so I'm gonna put the fish there. Now I'm gonna get my fat off. I'll put it off to one corner like that. And put the lentils right here. Just get the almonds and put them on top here. I like putting everything, like having one thing in the center and then putting things around it and not just like everything in a big pile. Yeah. So happy and thrilled that I got an opportunity to cook with you today. Yeah, thanks and for I was being happy my sous, to be chef. Your sous chef. Yeah. yeah. Just, sorry I made some mistakes along the way. It's but totally fine. I yeah. appreciate that. Should we eat? Yeah, definitely. All right, let's do it. I think there's something to be said about. Uh, putting your hard work into food and being able to sit down and reap the reward of it. And yeah. uh, that's what we did today. Let's dig in and try this. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, right too much. That was good. I'm stuffed. Yeah. yeah. There's always room for dessert, though. Yeah. Dessert. dessert. Oh, not this rubber chicken again. Uh, well, let's eat it. Yeah. Dig Kids at Stephen Kate's camp, I think cooking is so important. And if you get the opportunity to cook or to just have any experience with cooking, you should totally take it. Food is a really important thing in your life. You obviously need it to survive, but going outside your comfort zone, going outside all the basic ingredients that you know, and just trying new things, cause that will get you really far in life. And you make something really good, maybe other people will be inspired by you and start doing the same thing. And it just feels really good when you cook and you make a great recipe.